The Detroit Jazz Festival is returning this Labor Day weekend and once again the celebration will be going virtual. No audiences will be in person but there are still plenty of ways that you can take part in all the fun and all the jazz. Joining us now with more is Jazz Fest president and artistic director Chris Collins. Thank you so much for being here with us Chris. It's a joy. Thanks, Sally. So what can we expect this year from the Detroit Jazz Festival? Well, you know, uh, last year we were uh, we were broadcast only, you know, in person, and we got to uh, nearly a million viewers in 32 countries. So we're looking to build on that success and certainly looking to present one of the premier festivals in the world with the likes of Herbie Hancock, Dee Dee Bridgewater, Monty Alexander, the list goes on and on. But this year, uh, just for the fact of safe and safety and health, we, uh, we're going to be doing broadcast only, no in person. So it's safe, live and free for everyone. And who's going to be performing this year? So in addition to uh, our, our artist, our uh, artist in residence, Dee Dee Bridgewater, uh, on Friday, September the 3rd, we'll also have the great uh, uh, Herbie Hancock, the legend himself, with us. And uh, uh, we're going to have a thing called The Summit, which is a coming together of the great Manhattan Transfer and Take Six. As I said, Monty Alexander is with us. We have Kurt Elling doing a special show. Uh, we have the great Kenny Garrett with us, and on and on and on. It is, in fact, 40-plus hours of live jazz broadcast right here from Detroit from Friday, September the 3rd through Monday, September the 6th. And now you made the decision to go virtual again. What impacted or what influenced that decision? Yeah, well, it was a number of things. We were planning to go in person, our normal festival on our regular footprint from Hart Plaza all, all the way up to Cadillac Square. But then we had some logistic challenges uh, with different projects in the city, and we didn't want to put anyone in harm's way. And when we found out that we had to uh, reduce the footprint a little bit, it really did impinge on our health and safety protocols. So we made the decision to go in person to put the community and our citizenry first, but stay with our mission to keep it free and available to everybody. So we're putting it out on a number of platforms. So everyone can experience it around the world. And I'm sure that was a hard decision to make, but when it comes to health and safety, I can understand the switch to go virtual. Now, just like what you said, they'll be able to see performance viewers will really from a wide array of outlets, media outlets. Uh, tell us, where are you going to be streaming? Well, first of all, we build actual custom sound stages in the Marriott complex, huge custom sounds. So it's it's television level broadcast, multiple cameras, jib cameras, full high definition audio and video. And you can follow everything, of course, on our website at DetroitJazzFest.org, which will have all the listings. Uh, you can see it on our live uh, YouTube channel. You can also follow it on our app, Detroit Jazz Fest Live, which is on Google Play in the App Store. And it'll also be on Detroit Performing Arts Public Television. And it'll be on a number of uh, public radio stations, along with uh, uh, some screens, large screens that we're working with a couple of parks in Detroit to put out so that the sound and the vibe of Jazz Festival will be throughout the city uh, that Labor Day weekend. And real quick, before we take off, you guys really do try to help promote those younger musicians. Tell us about that. Yeah, we have a number of great programs, even though we're very careful with our younger musicians. We don't have any uh, high school students this year because of the pandemic, but we do have a special program. We're bringing some of the greatest uh, uh, college level students together to perform with a great Keon Herald in a big band setting. And we also have the winner of our collegiate combo competition, our national competition. They're called L Stop from New York University. And we'll be exciting to see the Detroit Jazz Festival run September 3rd through the 6th. No audience members will be allowed, like you just said there, Chris, but you will be able to watch it on streaming platforms, media platforms, DetroitJazzFest.org, Detroit Jazz Fest live app, and listen and watch on public radio and on TV. Chris Collins, president and artistic director of the Detroit Jazz Festival, thank you so much for being here with us this morning. My pleasure. Thanks for having me.